Not having your chart set to the correct time zone is one of the easiest way to ruin your analysis without even knowing it. Time is the foundation of the markets, so you really need to make sure that you have it right. And it's so easy to do, but there is one important thing that you really need to account for and I did make this mistake myself this year. I know this can be basic for some, but I still get comments every day asking me how to account for daylight savings hours, so let's once and for all determine if your charts should be set to UTC-4 or UTC-5. And send this video if you ever get the question again. Hi, I'm Money Engineer and with my masters in machine learning, I help traders optimize a strategy using a trading journal and real trading data. So daylight savings happens two times during the year. First, this year it happened on March 10. We went from UTC-5 to UTC-4 in both New York and also where I live here in Montreal. Then, later this year, on November 3rd, we'll go from UTC-4 to UTC-5, and the cycle continues. This is why on some of my videos, and even on the YouTubers, you will see UTC-4 on the bottom right, and on some other videos, you will see UTC-5. This is because it depends on when the video was recorded during the year, and this is where I think a lot of the confusion is coming from. So, just be careful because those days change every year. What do we need to do on the charts to account for that? I'll say it once and for all, all you need to do is just put your charts to New York time. And trading view will set up everything automatically, I promise. I will prove to you it actually works. That way you won't have to doubt it ever again. Every day in my mentorship, I cover what happened during the day. Here's a screenshot I took right before we made the change during daylight savings on March 6. The date you see here on top is the day the screenshot was taken. And you can test it yourself on your charts. You can change this number. And you can see on the right the times we were in at the time. UTC-5, right? Let's now check the second screenshot which was taken on Monday the day right after daylight savings was switched. You can see UTC-4, the change was made automatically, I did not change anything on my chart. And here's the proof. Remember I told you at the beginning of the video I actually made a mistake this year? Well, if you didn't spot it already on my chart, on this screenshot, I forgot to manually update my indicator which separates the day. This is why you see the vertical line, not exactly on the 11th. Thankfully, we had no setups on this date. But this could've cost me a lot, since I used this level to set up my midnight open, and I used that for my daily bias. And it's actually one of the members that pointed that to me during the week. So the only thing you need to take care of when daylight savings happen are your indicators, because depending on how they are coded, some of them, just like this one with mine, do not update automatically. Hopefully today we could solve this issue once and for all and never have to wonder again about that. So if you're looking for a community focused on real trading data, apply with the link in the description. And if the video helped you even just a little, you can leave a like or a subscribe, I really appreciate it. And here's a video explaining how to set up the unicorn indicator on your charts. See you there.